Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Madeline. I'm a high school teacher that is trying to teach kids that it's okay to look the way you want and act the way you want as long as you're respectful. Today we're doing a follow-up video of the one that I posted on the 10th of May where I ranked the cutest palettes in my collection. And today I wanted to do um, some of my more elegant palettes and the reason being that I um, felt like when I picked up my cutest palettes I was like there's so many beautiful packaging here in my collection but they are not cute they are either beautiful or elegant so today i'm doing my most elegant palettes uh, so if palettes videos are something that you enjoy to watch please hit the subscribe button i'd love to have you here we're now 350 subscribers and i'm super happy about that i love talking to you in the comments and i love to hear what you feel about makeup so please hit the subscribe button and let's get into some on my eyes today I have the Michaela palette uh, in collaboration with Glam Life. It looks like this. I bought this on release. I didn't like the customer service. So now almost eight months later or something I'm trying it out because now I'm trying to let the fact go that they're Customer service is bad, but I'm using the green shades in this palette today and I am enjoying the formula, which bothers me since I do not really want to buy anything else from them, but I really like the formula. But enough about that. On my lips, I have from Kaleidos, uh, their lip clay in the shade Cognac. I really like this shade. I think that this shade is super elegant. It's uh, a very dark shade, but it's a mix between like a very deep, deep brown and almost reddish. I really love this. So this is one of my favorite one that they have released so far. Uh, and speaking of Kaleidos, uh, on my list, on the 10th place, I think there's 10 of these, I'm, I'm, I'm messing up the, the numbers all the time, so let's not do numbers, I'm just saying last on my list over the most elegant palettes in my collection are these palettes from Kaleidos that are with lace. I think the collection is called Smoked Soiree. Am I right? I'm not sure because the only thing that is a problem with these palettes is that um, there are no like names on them. They're, the back is blank, probably because this is real fabric. Uh, I think that these are super nice. You can see that there have been some work put into these palettes and I think that they're super elegant and like something that I would definitely put in my handbag and, and bring with me if I'm going somewhere. Uh, this one, I like both of them, but I just brought one out. This one is my favorite one, which is the cool tone brown one. And I love this shimmer here. It's also super elegant. So this one is the last place on my most elegant palettes. The second one that I have is almost like a, a brother or sister to the, this one. And that is the Smokey. No, this is one is the Smokey Soiree. I'm sorry. This is something else, Smokey. I'm sorry. This is something else, Smokey. This is Smokey Soiree. Um, and this is from Dose of Colors. And this is their newer packaging. I saw now that it's a little bit dirty, but it's like rubbery textured, which makes it feel like sleek. It's, it's elegant. It's just simple, but like yet impactful. I really like this one. And this is also a, uh, there's a little brush in there. Uh, a, a cool tone, almost a warm tone over here, but this is cool tone and then we have a black and then two shimmers. Super pretty. I don't think I've used this one. That's shame on me. Really shame on me. But I think it's super pretty. I think that you could make a really nice smoky look with this and that that could be super elegant and super classy. So I think that the packaging of this is just 100 out of 110 like it's super pretty 
The next one is one of my older palettes and it's one of the palettes that made me go into like makeup really really deeply and that is the uh, colored rain and that's the queen of hearts and it's in this paper sleeve that you pull out and I think that this uh, sleeve is super nice and super pretty so there that's why it's still in it but when you pull it out it's just a black palette which is also very very elegant in my opinion like th there's no fuss there's no nothing it's just a black with gold text and when you open it I mean this is pretty like this is a very very nice neutral eye look in in a palette with one pop of orange and two pops of like pinkier tones i love this palette i do not now when i do my youtube videos love the background which is gold but otherwise i think that that also adds to like the touch of it feeling a bit more elegant so i think that this is a super pretty palette both without the sleeve and with the sleeve like that is a pretty beautiful palette my next palette on my list is the Corda Rosa palette from Sigma and this has these very nicely drawn roses on it I really like this palette. I really, really like the packaging. I think it's elegant. I think it's not too much. Like, cute can be too much. Like, there's a million things on it. But here's just the same rose over and over again. It just makes it super, super nice. So, I think that this is more like adult, grown up, um, nice looking than mo most of my palettes. Like, a lot of my palettes has too much to be on them to be elegant and this looks like this I'm just gonna hold my um, brush here uh, very nice neutral with some pinks also this could create a very elegant look so I'm just thinking that this is elegance for me in a palette and also this this is the plastic that lays like the protection plastic in the palette and it has like that it has the exactly the same roses like the uh, like the outer packaging i just think that that's a nice touch and it looks very elegant look at that how pretty is that so that is kept and it's in there next on my list is a palette that just got re-released in new packaging and I think it's new packaging at least and that is melt cosmetic the gemini palette i feel like this is so pretty i i think it's something with me and the roses roses makes it for me elegant instead of beautiful or pre pretty i or cute i just love roses we have in our garden loads of roses and i love them and i think that they just give this very yeah grown up mature kind of feeling and i love that this has a black background because that is also for me very like elegant and almost mysterious looking i love the packaging of this uh, on the inside it's neutrals and greens and i also think that this is very elegant shades i've used these a couple of times this is now getting pretty old um, I never had a problem with this palette. Uh, they reformulated it because some people had problems with it almost growing out of its pans. Like the the quality was the the quality of the shadows was good, but it didn't last very long, and it had some kind of issue with uh, the ingredients that was in it. But it never happened to mine. But I am now like almost like I want to buy the re-released version because I like this so much but the packaging is the real star here I have those colors in other palettes but the packaging is just 10 out of 10. I have a few favorite brands where I buy everything and the next um, one on my list is from one of those brands and that is from Natasha Denona and this palette is the Metropolis palette and I like this one because it's um, leather-ish but it's also like petrol green 
it is annoying with the ring light of course but i just think that this is prettier than many of her other palettes because many of her other palettes is in this like plastic and every time you put a finger on it there's a fingerprint and that looks dirty after a while and that is not elegant for me so I really like this one that is on the Metropolis palette. It's also on some of her other palettes, like I think it's the Sunrise or the Sunset. Also have this like almost lackish um, fabric outside. Um, the Metropolis you can't buy anymore. It's too bad because the inside is amazing. I love this color story, um, but Unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but it's super pretty. In here, I have the shades that is in the Gemini, for example, both the green and the brown ones, but um, I would rather today use the Gemini one because I'm scared I'm going to run out of this. This green is one of the most used shades in my collection. It's a cream to powder um, that I really, really love. But this packaging is amazing and I'm so happy I had it because I got into makeup just when this was starting to be like old on the market and she started to pull it from, from websites and stuff. So I was happy that I got it because it was a big step to buy something that expensive for me. But now I'm really happy that I have this palette. The next palette is a very, very sparkly one, and this is the second one from Dose of Colors on this list. I think that this palette reminds me like of a clutch bag, and that is the Friendcation palette uh, that Desi and Katie did as a collab with Dose of Colors. I like this is shimmery. And there is some glitter coming off, but it's not as bad as like uh, some other palettes in my collection, like the Amrezy palette, for example, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, that is just glitters all over. This is one of my first high-end palettes that I got, also a gold background on this one. And when I got it, I was scared of making too dark looks. Like today, you can see that I have no problems making dark looks anymore. But back then I did, and my favorite was just like putting this in the crease and this all over the lid and you can see that there's a big dent in that shade um this is not available anymore either but it is super nice and super pretty and as i said it it's if there was only like a handle here it, it reminds me of a bag like a high-end clutch bag and i really think that this is a super elegant um, palette the next palette on my list is the third one, top three now, uh, and this is a velvety uh, packaging and that is not always my favorite because when you go to like Anastasia Beverly Hills packaging, there is a lot of problems with those, uh, w with the packaging of them. One is that they get super dirty, like if store your makeup in a normal way the in in like a bag or in a drawer or something it will be like the packaging will be dirty and you can't get it nice looking again um me who is storing all my makeup in like a full cabinet with like boxes that sort them and they always stand up straight that they are not moving around it's not a problem but I see sometimes these velvet packaging being very, very dirty, and that is not elegant at all. And this is not from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is from Nomad Cosmetics, and this is the Orient Express palette. This is like a royal blue palette with gold trimmings, and I just think that this is one of the most elegant palettes that I have. Um, me and my boyfriend, we love Poirot. Uh, we do watch Poirot together and this is of course inspired by um, uh, the murder on the Orient Express. Uh, so you can see that up in the blue shade there is a small moustache for example for Poirot and that's why I bought this palette. Nomad Cosmetic doesn't have my favorite formula but 
the Orient Express is something that is very important to me. I've always wanted to go on the Orient Express. It's a dream of mine. I don't think it will ever happen, especially when the world is looking the way it is at the moment. But I really love this packaging. And even though I haven't used this since I got it, I have used it like once or twice when I got it into my collection, but I haven't used it since. I'm not removing it because I think that the packaging is so pretty and also because it is inspired by Poirot, which is very important to me. So I think that this is super nice and elegant looking. Second on my list is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is their newest palette if we are taking away the Norvina series. This is the Primrose palette and when I got this, this was just before Christmas I think I got this. I got it as a gift from my nan. Um, my nan asked me what I wanted and I don't really like spending my money on all um, neutral palettes or if I do I definitely don't like palettes that also have face products. But this was the only one I didn't have in my collection that was fairly new. So I was like, yeah, I want it because I'm also a collector, which is not good, but I am. But I don't want to pay the price for it. So my nan bought this for me and it has this like imprint that is very pretty. It also looks a little bit like uh, a handbag almost. And it has these corners uh, with gold on them that is also very elegant. When you open it up, it is uh, two face shades that I really enjoy. I really like this blush and I especially like to mix them up and that makes a perfect blush for me. So I'm happy I have it. I brought this on a weekend with my sister and my mom. So I have used it for a whole weekend uh, and I just did not use this shade. All the other shades I used and I really enjoyed it. Uh, but I bought this mostly because I'm a collector of Anastasia and because I felt like it was very pretty and it is and it's super elegant. I thought when I bought it that it was going to be boring. It is not boring. It is just elegant, I would say. On top of my list uh, and also the reason why I buy for, from this brand is the elegant packaging. And on top of that list is my Pat McGrath palette. Like I would say, look at this, this is a little bit too um, messy, like there's too much on this for me to find it elegant. I find it more of an artsy palette. But this is just the um, paper packaging around it. In this there is these palettes and I haven't removed the plastic on this one because I'm always scared that something will happen when I do, like I will drop it and there will be a scratch. But this is like this super heavy, almost metallic, but it, I think it's plastic, but it's so elegant. This is a um, limited edition of the Mothership Divine Rose 2. So this is like a pink one, a pink version that is very elegant, I think, but it's not my favorite ones because the one that I find more elegant than that are the black ones. The problem with these, hang on, is that they will show every single fingerprint you ever put on them. But the black one looked like this. And for me, this is just luxury. This is just elegance and luxury. Um, and if you open it, this is my favorite one from Pat McGrath. Um, it looks like this. Uh, it's pretty big pants. This is the Midnight Sun. Uh, I really like this purple shade. <laughs> That's why it's my favorite one. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the Pat McGrath formula per se, but I love the packaging. It makes me feel like it's something special and that I own something special and it's heavy and it's like I could kill someone with this. Honestly, I could. So I really, really, really do love these and I do find them very, very elegant. Um, so that's why they are on top of my list. 
If you like palette content and if you like to go through my uh, collection together with me and look at different kind of packages and uh, packaging and different kind of color stories, please hit the subscribe button. I'm here twice a week and I'd love to have you here and I will see you soon. Bye.